today. Um, some hard acts to follow. And I feel like uh, you know I may necessarily don't belong up here, but my name is Emilio Garza, and uh, I'm representing the uh, uh, University of Washington Hip Hop Student Association. And uh, just to talk a little bit about myself, um, um, I was pretty much uh, the only kid of color, uh, uh, person of color in uh, my group of friends, growing up in a predominantly white neighborhood in the uh, upper middle class, uh, North End Tacoma. And um, so for hip hop for me, a lot of time was a place where I could identify with you know, other people and uh, just really find myself. And uh, I've really come to discover it over the last few years as a, uh, as a means of expression. And uh, I've been lucky enough through the Hip Hop Student Association um, you know, to really be more exposed to some more of the elements and things like that. Um, primarily, we do a lot of, um, we do a lot of uh, b-boy jams and things like that. And I'm, I'm just really proud of the uh, Seattle youth uh, and the area youth that really like to come out. They come out to the events and they really want to put on not only um, you know, for themselves but for the community and they really show that you know, by putting hard work into something that you can find expression in, by coming together as a community that hip hop really is something that can move not only a community forward but society forward in general. And uh, I study political science at UW and I've just been, uh, and I think hip hop is really what drove me to that, to really find the real problems in society and to try and address those through, through expression and things like that. So, you know, I'm constantly just trying to go over my research, learn the history, learn the history of hip hop, and, um, you know, just find out more ways to open more avenues for expression for people my age, people older, people younger, whoever, whoever wants to come get involved in the hip hop scene. That's what hip hop is really about, is just getting everyone involved and giving everyone that means for expression. Because without that means for expression, then we're all just kind of, you know, walking around as drones in life and, you know, just listening to what, you know, this corporate capitalism that's really taking over hip hop and things like that, telling us what, what we're supposed to listen to and what we're supposed to wear, what we're supposed to buy. So, you know, you just gotta really encourage that, uh, encourage that expression, encourage that development, reach out to the youth and just, you know, bridge generations, bridge gaps, bridge communities, because that's what hip hop is about. It's about building every, building everyone up, so that way, you know, you can really develop just a society in general. So, that's pretty much what I have to say. Uh, everyone up here has definitely said way better than I will. Uh, I'm DJ Hyphen. I do a radio show on Q93, everyone's favorite radio station. Uh, so nice sound session. We're completely separate from Cube. Yeah. Don't worry, we're completely separate from Cube. Uh, so I have a lot of kind of interesting perspective on where the culture meets the business on that level. Uh, but I know we're way over time, so I won't take up too much time. Basically, I grew up in Seattle, Texas, and California. Got into hip hop through Jazzy Jeff, Fresh Prince, in Living Color, late 80s, early 90s. Just growing up and uh, really being probably the only kid in my circle of friends who was into hip hop. But I just really related to it and ended up going to college and getting into uh, radio in college, basically because I was just trying to meet people who liked the same kind of hip hop I liked. So I urge everyone out there, if you're in college, you know, pick up community radio and pick up college radio because it's a good way to meet folks that are kind of like-minded and whatnot. And uh, did college radio for four years, came back, interned at Cube. Uh, I was the guy like handing out Mountain Dews outside of 7-Elevens and stuff when they do sticker stops, all that glamorous work. And uh, they really just knew how much I love music and they put me together with uh, John Moore, who I'm sure most people in here know, uh, to do Sunday Night Sound Session, and we've been doing this for almost seven years now. Basically taking two hours of, uh, of air time on cube, 100,000 watts, goes from border to border, Oregon to Canada, and playing what we just call real music. It, it, you know, we play various genres, we play people from here, we play people internationally, we just play music that we love. Uh, and unfortunately, radio doesn't do that anymore, TV doesn't do that anymore. Of the people at the station, I mean, you guys all know B Mello as well, uh, Super Sam, some of these guys, but the folks that you see and hear on the radio, a lot of times aren't the people making the decisions. Uh, luckily on our show, 
John and I make all the decisions, um, which is incredible. So we're thankful for that. Uh, and we just really hope that we can be kind of a conduit for the artists uh, and the people in the community to get their voice out and be heard. So if you're an artist in here, I recommend that you submit your music. There are probably people in here that I've listened to your music and I haven't played it, so I apologize. We can't play everything, but definitely keep sending in your music. And uh, we try to get everything we like on the air um, and, and get your voice out to the people. In terms of what hip hop is to me, uh, you can't describe it, you can't define it. It just is something that you are. It's something that uh, permeates everything you do. Like when I'm at home doing my laundry, I do it like a hip hop person would do it. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but I just it's just something that like when you talk to people, so you just real though, son. yeah. I mean, like, I'm not really silent when I'm doing it, but it's just something that permeates everything I do. When I'm at the office, uh, having a meeting, leading a presentation, when I'm on the radio, when I'm interviewing artists, when I'm just playing basketball. Obviously, you could do a whole uh, presentation on how basketball and hip hop are related. But like, you just know it. The same way when you get on the court and you know someone who's kind of got it. The same way when you're talking to someone, you know if they get it or not. That's kind of hip hop to me. It just is. It's just in. I know it's in everyone here. So I'm excited to see everyone here today. Although I do wish there were more people here. We just talked about the UW Student Association. I know when I was a kid, the last thing I wanted to do was wake up at 9 a.m. on a Saturday. But a lot of these folks should have been here um, because they'll definitely be out tonight celebrating. Uh, but like you said, it's not just about coming in and then boom, you've got everything. Like you got to put in work. And education is where it all begins. So uh, spread the word with the kids. They're doing great work.